Hello and welcome. This is Aceless John with another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to create a very first project. I'm going to learn some aspects of what that involves and then we will turn around and learn how to get rid of a project from within Android Studio. Alright, so when you open your Android Studio, come up with this little quick start menu and it's pretty self-evident. You just click to start a new Android Studio project. This will come up. Now my application name is just that, the name of your application. Now this company domain, uh, some people get a little confused because uh, I mean it doesn't really tell you what it is, but it's used for this information right here, your package name. And as you can see, it's um, done in reverse order. Uh, main example com, com example main, and then my application. And it's all, it has to be all in lowercase and it's converted to lowercase. Now, what here. is this used for? It's used mostly in the Google Play Store. Uh, it can be anything you want, but this is when you eventually get your apps uh, published, your projects. Uh, they will be using this uh, to identify them within the Play Store. So uh, that's important. Uh, the project location, uh, if you wanted to copy and, paste, copy and paste and find this on your computer later, you could very well do that. And then you just click Next. All right, on this window, uh, the select the form factors your app will run on. What we're going to do is we're only going to work with phone and tablet. Now, at some time in the future, if you may decide to, uh, when you've got all of this mastered, or you may just decide that you want to play around with it, that's perfectly all right. But what we're doing right now is a basic tutorial, so we're only going to work with phones and tablets. Now, the minimum SDK, if you'll notice, if you change this to something a little bit more current, it changes the percentage of devices that are, will run your app. Right now, I would like to make this a very generic, very open platform. So we're going to run on eight because that will cover 100% of the devices on the Google Play Store. You've got that picked. What you do is click Next. What is an activity? Well, an activity is an application or a component uh, that provides the user with a screen and the developer uh, which to interact or to do something. Um, this is where you'll be actually putting the bits and pieces together uh, to put things like you know the, the dial buttons on a phone, um, photos presented to send and read email or, or to view a map. Uh, these things uh, will all occur in their own activity. Usually an activity will take up the entire screen, but there are some situations where an activity will be smaller than the whole screen or an activity can float on top of others uh, in the, the actual window itself. Um, most applications will consist of multiple activities and uh, that is something that we'll have to get into. Right now all I really want you to do is to get a feel for how this works so just click next and we're going to be coming in here and doing a change. Now I'm going to call this my and this is what you call camel case. Uh, they notice that every word in the name starts with a capital letter and I'm going to remove this my and put it in front with an underscore. Notice that that um, the, the format for this is lowercase and then my main activity I'm going to leave alone and then menu my main. I'm going to leave that alone as well. All right so now that you've done this you just click finish. It takes a couple of seconds to build but when it's done building you will have built your very first basic hello world app. Uh, these tips will come up every time unless you get rid of this. Um, I'm getting rid of it just to save time uh, because this is a tutorial. But I wouldn't suggest you do that. I think that uh, the tips are an interesting way to slowly learn a little bit about uh, Android Studio as you go along. And there you go, your very first app. 
this is the default file uh, and it has created your very first app isn't it? that's cool now what I'm gonna do next is um, we're gonna just destroy your very first app because I think it's important not only be able to create projects um, but if for some reason you want to get rid of a project uh, you'd be able to do so that way. so this is how I get rid of a project that I want, don't want um, not only will this help you learn how to get rid of a project but it will also reinforce the creation of a project so that you do it again and repetition is uh, one way of learning something so I right click on my application up here and um, normally I would just go to delete but I want to do something else as well so click find in path and what this will do is show you uh, the actual directory right here of your project so go there and I want you to copy this uh, I push control C uh, you can also push control X to ensure that you actually copied it and cancel out of this alright so now you go back up to here right click and click delete delete directory all files yes we want to do that all right now go up to here it's gonna give you this ID fatal error that's all right go up to here close project and it will come back to this but you'll notice that my application is still there now that's weird so I want you to come in here right click once and push delete nothing happens that's weird yes it is weird I don't understand why it does that you have to right click twice and then push delete remove my application from reject recent project lists yes and you would think hey I'm done but no you're not what you need to do now is open up a window uh, to you somewhere on your C drive or whatever ma main hard drive is and then paste that line you just copied and enter and then go up one and there is my application I want you to right click and delete that and that will get rid of any remaining residual files for my project and then close and then let's start Android Studio again so close out Android Studio will reopen and it will be as if you had never created that project before yes so now you can create a new project which we will do in the next tutorial and the next tutorial I'll begin to show you uh, some of the aspects of the interface of Android Studio itself so had that to look forward to. I'm glad you joined me. This has been H-less John. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up.